Hello, welcome to Stoneheart We Banto. So we're back here again, and we are building our town with inspiration from the game Kingdoms and Castles. So we're trying to do a bunch of different houses that uh, belongs in the games. I might be changing a few colors. It's not going to look identical to the previous one. And also notice this a thing that I fixed it before on my template. So this little rock here is gone. And I also went back and changed this house to a little bit of different roof colors because I felt like the previous one that I made did not fit too good to how it looks in Kinemas and Castles. I think these colors looks a bit better and this house now also do not require any of the clay bricks. So that's really useful when you're playing with these guys here when we're not playing with Raya's children because Raya do start with a potter but these guys have a carpenter instead. So this house I will, I will probably leave that with this roof because it does look pretty good. And uh, it's a later on building that requires to have some more professions. So we will have to get a potter when we're going to do this house. So we can get the play, play bricks grow, going. Or we will have to be lucky to get some trader that we can buy them from. Also been designing another house. And I will be showing you guys a speed build. If you're interested, let me know if you guys want to see a speed build of it. I have it recorded. So I made this one. Kingdom's Lodge Granary. This is the latest one I made. This is the granary, the large granary that you have in Kingdoms and Castles, and this one has a lot of storage, and I think they ended up pretty good. A little bit of interesting under here, these little things, and I think came out pretty good. What I maybe would have wanted to do would be to raise these walls up one or two blocks further, to make it look even better, and I know the game in Kingdoms and Castles, this roof do look a little bit different. I have now, though, added one more mod, which this mod is called Floor Colors. It added in more colors that you can choose from, you have a lot more here, so... This is the only mod we're using for the moment, and I'm gonna try to limit the amount of mods we're using. So you guys will be able to use these as uh, easy as possible once I release these uh, for download for you guys to use them, if you want to use them yourself, so. But that's our granary, and we probably can have it next to this. We're gonna have a windmill here. So that's uh, what I thought that we are gonna start to build today. Might be perhaps a little bit early. And we're gonna see how we do the wind sails. That's gonna be the hardest, trickiest part. And we do have a mod called the Cafe mod, which has a moving wind sail. So I will see if I will leave like the wind sail, or if we're gonna make one that is just static. It looks so much better with the Cafe mod, which uh, is moving around. So I will see. The Cafe mod is broken. Fell for 23. If they didn't fix it, I'm gonna check it after this video to see if they have updated it or not. But let's see. We did get some um, invaders now. So let's go and promote someone. Let's promote Mr. Banto. I'm pretty courageous. I um, should be pretty ready for battle. And I got a lot of names with from you guys, so... If you don't get your name now, don't worry too much. I will be going through all your names and I will select random people to get named. So all of you guys have the same amount of possibility to be named, the same amount of luck to be named. And also look into in another... a lot of new games for the next year. I got some tips by a guy named Wardino. And there are a few games that looks pretty interesting. I'm gonna come back with a talk with you guys about them at a later point, but uh, that's probably gonna be games for 2018. So some pretty interesting game to look forward to. And one of them is actually called The Colonist, which it kind of reminds of Stoneheart, but you don't really design buildings in this way. But it's a city builder and you're playing like these smaller robots that kind of looks like Wally from uh, the Wally movies. So it's pretty cool. Okay, let's see here. We do have some endlings coming in. Let's see if Bando's ready. Let's rally everyone else. Go to the flag to defend. Okay, looks like I'm ready for battle. Go Bando! Smash these guys down. Chop some wood. Chop, 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 chop. Look how I'm swinging the blade. Quite skill. And I do have the courageous traits. That should be pretty awesome for me. We might get like an um, herbless soon. So the reason we want that is, you know, so we can we can heal Mr. Banzo here. He don't have to run around with low health all the time. Someone actually treat him after he's been in to battle and he can treat his wounds and get back his health. So that should be pretty cool. Okay, so we're gonna promote some people. We're gonna name some people today. So one request here, what uh, was from a block at us, and he's gonna be this girl over here. I hope you don't mind. Probably wanna be a guy, but you're gonna be this guy. And the reason for that is that he requested to be a farmer, and uh, this person here has a uh, green thumb. So that uh, does, so they are a lot happy when they're around like flowers. Love to be in a farm, so that's uh, really, really good. So we're gonna promote this uh, dude here to a farmer. 
Where's the promote button? Normally I think it should be down here, but I don't, don't see it. I guess we have to go through this way. Okay, let's promote him. He's gonna be a farmer. And we're also gonna promote another person that's gonna be our mason. So Mr. Flargan here, because he do have a heart of a crafter, which is really good. They want to craft something every day to keep him happy. So we're gonna make him to mason. It's good to get it going. Because if we get a mason going, we can get a blacksmith soon, and we can also get a potter earlier, so that's really, really good. And we can get some cool, cool decorations, and I haven't seen the new stuff that Mason can actually craft for Alpha 23, which should be some new things, just as it is for the carpenter. Look at the way he's swinging the sword, I'm so happy, so proud of myself. That's pretty funny. Okay, so... Um, let's get the Mason to do his little workbench first. Then we can look if we have some other stuff, some new stuff. This looks like the old things, so it doesn't look like I have anything new except for these two things. Refinement. Uh, used when crafting furniture to make it really pretty. So we got some gold flakes and our oh, gold flakes time is free. So this is what we needed for the carpenter for some of the new craft Alpha 23, which we have in like these things. Ornate wooden dresser. It needs one golden flakes. A, chef's, a chest of drawers for storing clothing and personal possessions. Look at the appeal for that, 24. So imagine if you maybe, if it's possible to make this in a fine version, how incredible much of uh, appeal that will give. That is something my Harfling would love to have, and it's pretty fun because now we can actually decorate houses and give them some good stuff. And I was thinking that we maybe, should we build this granary? I think it's sitting pretty good, maybe we can move this up a tiny bit. Just before that, let's put this out, so Banto, don't forget it, so we can get our Mason to work. Okay, so I'm gonna have it pretty close to the farm. Like around here should be good. And if you look inside this one, let's see here, looks kinda weird. But we have so many boxes in this. This is gonna be a lot for the carpenter craft, but this is gonna, gonna give us so much storage. And I guess we should actually try to mostly have things that are for the farm. And in Kingdom's Castle, the way you have stockpiles in that game is that um, you build them outside and there's like boxes and it's stocking up, like piling up pretty much. So we're gonna look into the and doing that. We're mostly gonna focus on making this town look uh, a lot like a, a Kingdoms and Castle town. That's like the goal with it. And uh, I did ask about these roads. One of the guys said that you didn't like it. So I'm not sure personally if I like it or not. I might use it and then we can just remove it later. These houses are going to be gone later on, so these are just temporary houses from the base game, and I just love these new lights, it looks so good. But these are temporary ones, so we can progress a little bit faster, and probably going to destroy them not too far from now. And another one we're going to name today, another lucky person is getting named, is going to be this guy, Asher Boltos. So this guy we are going to name, and he's going to be named James Lindsay. Welcome James, hope you can have an amazing time here. If you guys have name requests, drop them and I will randomly select one to two people per episode as long as we have halflings to be named. Sell a few swords. I'm gonna keep one because for the moment the company has so many different things to craft, so I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep one of them. Ornit Confisher, look at them, they're so expensive. But they're so good, so it does make sense. One thing I really like about this appeal system also is that uh, your crafters will get this thing. So, this slice gets higher, there's different uh, colors for this gem as you see here, and the different colors give uh, more appeals for the item, which I really, really like. So, and it also means that if you do that, like if you have a really good uh, craft, let's say you have like, a really good tailor, you will actually be able to craft uh, like really, really good paintings, and uh, they can sell for so much, so you can really earn a lot this way. They're probably gonna get balanced because it, it's a little bit weird for the moment. The banter looks so funny when it's going around like that. <laughs> okay, so I think we're safe for now. We don't really have money to buy stuff, so we're gonna wait with Dune. Any more purchasing? Let's harvest these. I might move in those to the farms later on. Looks like they're doing pretty good here. Okay, so it's time to start to do our beautiful little windmill. So the windmill for Kingdom's Castle is a pretty, pretty basic one. It's just a wind sail, I'm a little bit unsure of how I will do it. Uh, but let's start doing this little windmill. So for the bottom we're gonna start with doing some stone. 
We're gonna go 9 by 9 I was gonna wait for Mr. Banto, the Hyper Panther to go away. So proud, so proud. Okay, so over here we're just gonna make it go up. Uh, let's see how many, maybe 5? Gonna be first, and we can add some like extra details for this. Okay, so I think for the sides here, the corners, we're gonna change that to like an brighter shade of this. Maybe this one could be too bright, and ah, that's pretty good. So uh, what we're also gonna do is that we are we're actually gonna carve out a little bit. So we're only gonna keep like uh, the outer part of this. Gonna go down all the way. So then we're gonna have a little floor. I guess we could do this with a wooden cutter. Like that. And then we're gonna do our little tricky way. Let's see where we want this windmill to be facing. We can always turn later though. But let's have it facing this way. And this will fit in for like a normal, normal door. And that should be pretty good fitting there. I'm just gonna make sure we have some floor under it, because if we don't do that, it's probably not going to belong to the house, and uh, that's important. Okay, so a few more, like, tiny little extra details. I guess I can do them later. Let's do them maybe later on. Let's do them now. I kind of want to do it now. So around this door, we're going to make this a little bit different. Like, it's going to be like that. The entrance, and then we can have a few, like, random stones here. It's just going to be pretty interesting. Let's have a few of them around. Something like that should look pretty nice. Maybe one more. And we might pop in some more things here. We will see. Maybe we will throw in some random colors. But it's looking pretty pretty nice for now. Okay, so now we're actually going to get to like the wind sail house thingy. And we're going to use kind of the same colors as we used before. We're going to make it a little bit smaller. I hope it's not going to be looking too weird. It might turn into too small. We will see. What do we have here? We have 7 by 7 so it, it, it could work. And this is going to go pretty far up, so let's see how far we're going to go. Maybe a few more. And uh, we can have like a little split here, so I think we'll do a split around here. Should be nice. Okay, we got a daily update, guys. Awesome! We got another one to join. Hello, Jim. Welcome to the town. Let's check her out. 446. That's a pretty good thing. What is this thing? Passionate trapper. Jim Inverse. Always dream of being a trapper. Maybe now to get a chance. And op opinionated. Okay. But this should be a trapper, though. We should try to satisfy our halflings with uh, what their dreams are. That's a good thing, you know, to get to do your dreams. Okay, so then we can have some some simple walls and like that. And uh, I'm not sure how we like usable. We're gonna make this like for the top floor because it's it's pretty small. So I'm kind of leaning towards making so that uh, you mostly use like down here where we can have a few boxes and stuff. So we can have some large crates and maybe some small ones. So this will be even some extra storage next to the granary. So. Because I think it's gonna be too small to actually make some stair to go up. It could be though if we do... I guess we could do ladders. I'm actually gonna... Let's maybe do something up here. Maybe some more storage. We're probably gonna need a lot for all the flowers and all the food and everything. So let's give that a go. Okay, so here's the first thing. The first going up. Looking pretty nice. I kinda like this smaller style that uh, I have for Kingdoms and Castles. It's pretty interesting. Okay, so here we're gonna go up uh, even a few more, not as much as we did first. It's gonna be like... Maybe three would be... I think three might be good enough, so let's do four. Four should be pretty good. So before we head on any further, just to have like a way so you can actually use this, would be to... On the inside here, we just do a few blocks like that. And then we can have a ladder and we can have something here, I don't know. It's possible to go up at least. Or we can do it like that, and it's just a tiny little squeezy hole for our halflings to go through. I can leave it like that, should be pretty good. Looks a little bit more realistic then. And then we put a ladder in the middle, and then we can have, like I said, we can have a few boxes. We don't have too many, like, decorations or too many furniture to play around with for the moment. 
Would be awesome if you can actually add like a ladder attached to the building directly so you can save it, but uh, it's something you have to add at a later point. It would be really cool if uh, a windmill like this in the future of Stonehearth, if they have a specific tool like next to a farm, so they can use that to like improve the amount of food you get. And yes, like uh, in Kingdom's Castle, you get improved, you get more food if you have a windmill, so that would be pretty cool. So the idea is to have the wind sail here, and I'm still not sure how I will do with this. If I'm, if I'm gonna make it like that and uh, make a wind sail, uh, we could we could give it a go. I think we'll do that as the very last thing we do, though. So we want to go up a little bit, do it like that. Pretty pretty simple. Could go like this maybe, just to create a little bit of a more maybe interesting style to it. I'm just gonna see how it would look if we go like that for ends. No Kingdom's Castle, they do like to have um, it so it slopes it different when you reach at this point. And let's see here, let's go for some cutter. Could go for one of these new ones, like this one. I was thinking of doing it like that. Let's gonna add in one more here. Uh, here it is. So maybe something like this, it does look a little bit weird, so I will see what we'll do. We'll see how it um, turns out. I'm not sure if I like the top for this. I think it looks better like this. It's kind of hard to do the kind of slope to do here because it's, it's a little bit pointy like this way and then it, at the end it would be like almost like that. And it just looks uh, kind of weird with the stone heart blocks. I think we go like that. I'm just gonna change the color so we get the same one. There we go. I think that looks a lot better and uh, then they, they kind of use this thing, as they use kind of the same color as they use for like uh, these corners. They kind of use that for the ends it seems, so we're gonna do that as well. And I do think it looks pretty nice though. So this for the wind sail, I, I'm kind of leaning towards putting it around here instead. I think that could be kind of nice, and maybe we could do it like at this thing. Perhaps that would be nice. Uh, let's maybe go without that. Let's go to back to the white and do it like that. So let's see if I can uh, do a wind sail. This is probably going to be a little bit troublesome without uh, the pre-made one. There's only going to be like one going out here in the middle. So we will see how the sail is going to look. They use a pretty pretty bright sail, almost like this color. And uh, I guess we should make it go out one more. We do not hit our roof because that's not going to be very good. We're going to break our building then. So we could make our very own. Let's remove that one. That's gonna be there. What are you doing there, Mr. Block? And we can have four of these going out. So we, 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 could, we could just do it like that. It would look better maybe if it was like going diagonal like that. Or that way. A different angle for them. But at the same time, it's kind of hard to make it look good. And it's maybe gonna be too wide. And this is probably gonna be too thin. So we would have to, have to take a look when we're doing this and see what we're happy with. So we have a length of 7 for that, and this one is also 7, so that's good. This one is 4, so we can have 3 more. And uh, doing the pieces under, that's that's always like the trickiest part. Both because of the text you have here that's teaching you how to build, the one you have built a couple of times before. And uh, the angle is really weird, so it's almost easier to just drag out from here and then like remove the previous part, I would say. Get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and one more. So it, you know, it could look like this, but maybe we should add them um, in, make it one, one thicker. Do it like that, and do it one under here, and then the last one will be, I guess, under here. Could have it like that. I think it almost looked better when it was thinner, though. So let's maybe try to do it thinner again. So uh, it's almost done. Then let's look around a little bit to some more details. I almost want to change these a bit. Almost have even a brighter color. Oh, that was blue. So pretty much this one. So I'm just gonna change the one we have here and we're gonna go for even brighter one. So 
So I think something like this, guys, I feel pretty satisfied with that. This one doesn't really actually have any windows. Like I said, the wind sail, I would love to do it different, but um, I will see if I return and change it. But it does, does look pretty okay. So let me know, guys, what you think about a wind sail. It looks like we need to gather a little bit of wood we out of it. Simple merchant. Um, I guess we can't really buy anything for the moment. We are pretty poor for the moment. Have a lot of uh, craft to be done. So uh, I'm going to head out to the wilderness and we're going to chop down some of these uh, large oak trees. Been growing here for centuries and Banto is just going to chop them all down. So that should do good. So let me know guys what you think about our windmill. I think it does look pretty nice. A tiny little thing that I might actually be doing, yes, that I think it might look a little bit better would be to add that thing to stick out. Or is it better like this? What do you guys think? I think it looks better like that. So I'm gonna save it. Like I said, I will be sharing the, these at a later point, so you guys can use them as well, of course. If Cafe Mod gets the work of Elevator 23 though, I most likely will rebuild this and fit in the wind cell, the moving one, because it's so cool that it's actually is moving. That's looking pretty good, and it's pretty cheap, and it should be a fast build to do, so we're gonna build that one pretty pretty soon. So let me know what you think about our large granary and our windmill. Wow, look at the amount of endlings! Where's Banto? Let's check him out, let's bring him here, let's bring him to the woods. Rally my people, get back to town! Who we got here? Gemi Inverse is running back. Okay, the Banto's fighting him, I think he's gonna do pretty good. Might want to look into actually getting an herbalist. I think we need to get out pretty soon. If Bant's gonna be able to survive this, once we get some tougher enemies, we're probably gonna need to have an herbalist, and then later on we're gonna get a cleric, so. We can do it, Mr. Banto. I believe in you, man. Okay, we get a daily update. Let's check it out. Another one joins. Awesome. Camden Umbro. More people for you guys to have to name. 445. That's really good. Oh, Gormand. Only the tasteless of foods are welcome to Camden Umbro's palate. They become happy when they are eating high quality food, but low quality meals are quite distasteful. So this guy wants to get some good foods. Maybe this is... Oh, yeah. So that's a pretty interesting thing, but he can also carry around a lot of things, so we gotta make him happy, so he can carry things for us. But yeah guys, this will be it for today with Stonehearth. If you guys have name suggestions, drop them in the comments, and I will be choosing one to two names per episode, and, and I will draw randomly, so you guys have... If you get lucky, you will get a Harfling named in the game, and uh, hopefully you get that, so... So guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, leave a like if you did, it helps me out really really much, and subscribe for future content here on my channel, and thanks for watching, have a great time, and take care.